Did you ever go on one of those photo shoots where you feel like everything's against you in terms of time? Well, here's the deal. Today has been an awful day with weather yet again. I mean, this place is beautiful, don't get me wrong, and it's beautiful in all weathers, but um, not all weathers lend themselves to photography. So all day today, it's been drizzling and blowing a gale. And then three o'clock this afternoon, it just disappeared and it's now beautiful. And while that's fine, the problem is for me is that I go home tomorrow uh, this is my last evening and I've really got to make it count. So I've come out literally as the sun is starting to fall. I haven't wrecked anywhere particular. I just know that the dune system that I'm going to is where I want to shoot from. It's literally where the whole experience for me started off on the very first, mo very first morning. Yeah, very first morning, I think it was, or afternoon. But it's where it started. And this is where it's ending. So my plan is to get into the dunes, shoot some of this beautiful marron grass, which is gorgeous when it catches the dawn or evening light, and get a shot with the North, North Harris Hills in the background, and some of that gorgeous, beautiful blue aqua coloured sea in the middle distance. So, fingers crossed, I can find something. God, that sun is bright. Whew. So immediately I can see a snag and that is it's had quite a lot of foot traffic in the last few days since the big storm and uh, pretty much everywhere you look a bit like a motorway that. So I've just got to find somewhere in amongst the grasses where people haven't walked. So it's just a case of trying to isolate those areas as much as possible and try to make it look pristine. After a storm, a good couple of days of constant blowing, all these are completely gone and it makes it a lot easier. But you've got to literally be the first on the beach with the camera to find the pictures. But I'm convinced I'll find something because once you get off the beaten track, right down there, apart from the top, no one's been. So there is opportunities, just got to keep your eye out for them. Got loads of time, the sun's still fairly high in the sky, and the hills of Harris, beautifully clear, stunning. That's the clearest I've seen them in two weeks. And the one to the right, I really don't know the name of it. Um, one of the taller ones. Still got a little bit of snow in it from the last few days, but it's melted away now. So yeah, head down. Let's find that shot. Just a little bit of interesting information about the ecology of sand dunes is that the marron grasses which are pretty much the only grasses that get established at the very front are the ones that fix the dunes or begin the fixing process. And you'll see there is extensively marron grasses scattered all the way from the front to just about where this next hillside starts. And then you'll see that the more further back you get, you start seeing rabbit burrows in the hillside and you can see that it becomes more constant and over time as you get further back different grasses get established and the, the dune system becomes fixed completely and eventually certainly on the mainland maybe not so much here but when you get further back still you start getting woodland developing and so it's it's very apparent when you look the different zones of the habitats throughout the dune system Really interesting. The ones at the back are completely stable now, and uh, that's how they'll be, apart from the odd weather wearing that they get. But these, these very front dunes, they're still shifting somewhat and becoming established. Really interesting. If you look into the ecology of sand dunes, I mean, I'm just skipping the surface here, but uh, very interesting habitat. So whilst 
what was going on about the dune systems I came across a composition and it's just behind me there it is a bit of a problem in that there's footsteps around the edge of it but if you look it's what I'm looking for there's a bit of an S curve that takes your eye through the scene but sadly there's foot footsteps on the top as well and I did consider whether I can smooth them out but nothing nothing beats the job that nature can do itself so I'll leave it for now and uh, if I can remember where it is I might come back to it if I can't find anything else so the sun's dropping and I'm really starting to get pushed for time and it certainly doesn't help when your camera batteries die so this is what I'm up against I'm still struggling with the footprints I may have to resort to Photoshop if I find something good compositionally now and, and there's a footprint in it I'm gonna go with it but this is what I'm up against apart from the footsteps if you look behind me there's a nice scene lots of nice marron grass with no footprints in it but compositionally the grasses just don't have any shape to them and I'm looking for a sweep some sort of sweep whether it be in the formation of the sand the way it's the way it's mounded or literally the way the grasses are growing but I need something to create that leading this would be nice but it just lacks that detail that the foreground needs to take the viewer's attention through to the distance hills. So I'm going to leave this one and carry on. The sun's probably got another half an hour and then it's done. There's also some patchy cloud where it's falling, so really up against the clock now. found myself a nice compromise I really couldn't find the shot that I had going on in my mind just impossible and with the light fading I had to move quickly so I found a little spot where there's no footprints and what I love about this shot and hopefully you can see it there is there's two colours of sand there's a very light coloured band there and over at the back where the grasses are there's another light coloured band and that's where the sand's drying out so you've got the darker wet patches and the light coloured dry patches which make for a lovely contrast and just help to create those leading lines that I'm looking for and create that line through the centre of the frame. The sweep I haven't really got but, um, but I'm happy with that, it will certainly do and it's a lovely shot through the back of here. Um, I'm going to have to be pretty quick, the light is fading uh, all the time and I'm just waiting now <coughs> for a last bit of sun to come out before it gets too late. Fingers crossed, really fingers crossed, that that sun finds one last gap, um, which will enable me to take the shot with those lovely hills in the background. Patience. I could have spent the last half an hour running up and down these sand dunes for nothing and I literally have been to the very end and back looking for a shot it's just traffic foot traffic everywhere please even if I don't get this I've had a fantastic time on Harris absolutely would recommend this to anyone and I definitely am coming back I haven't seen that much of Lewis but equally Lewis has got a lot to offer the photographer um, but for me, Harris is where it's at. All these beautiful sandy beaches are just like what you'd expect to see in the Caribbean, like nothing I've ever experienced um, in the UK. Tremendous, absolutely tremendous. I'm going to sit and wait for this image and put it on at the end. I'm convinced it's going to happen, but I'm going to sign off here and put it on in a second. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to go home after this, all being well, and finish the packing, getting ready for tomorrow morning. So if you've enjoyed the video, you've enjoyed the series, please, please subscribe, show your support, leave some comments below, ring the bell for notifications, and like and share is always good for me. So until next time, bye for now. I'm going to take this image, the light is just about there. Two second timer. Bingo. Bye for now.